Hey everyone, Brent here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can take the information from a Google spreadsheet and easily and quickly convert it into an app that can be displayed on your phone, and you can do that using the amazing website Glide. It's at glideapps.com right up here in the address bar. So first thing you want to do is you're going to want to create uh, an account. Uh, so I'm going to click open glide that will take you to the login screen now if you haven't already created an account you're going to want to create a, an account that is linked to the Google account where the spreadsheet is located so keep that in mind so I'm going to go ahead and I've already created an account so I'm going to go ahead and log in using the Google account this is my Google address linked to the spreadsheet that I'm going to use and then I'm going to click sign in with email now when you do this it's going to send you an email as a lot as an added layer of security or if you prefer you can just click sign in with Google I'm gonna go ahead and do that choose that account and that's going to sign me in so once you're in you're gonna to want to right here as you can see I've already done this with one app now with the free version of this website you can build up to two apps for free there is a, a paid version where you can do a lot more stuff, but you can get two for free. So I've only done one. So I'm going to click here, the plus sign, and click New App. And the example that I'm going to use, I'm going to take this spreadsheet that I've used here. Let's say that I wanted to make an app that shows all of the favorite things of Harry Potter characters. So you can see I've got a spreadsheet that shows all the names of the characters how they like to be appreciated, their birthday, their favorite Starbucks drink, etc. So that's a spreadsheet. I'm going to use that. So when I go back here, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and title it HP for Harry Potter favorites. And I want to go ahead and I want that to be a mobile app and I'm going to hit continue. And it's going to be linking to a Google Sheet. You can see it can also use an Excel, but an example here I'm going to show you is a Google Sheet. So I'm going to tap Google Sheet, continue. And what it's going to do, it's now connecting to my Google uh, account, and it's, you're going to find the spreadsheet that you're looking for. Now, you can see right here, this is the one at the top that I'm looking for, Staff Favorites Survey Sample. If you didn't see it, you could go ahead uh, and type up in here, and it will list it. But you can see it's right there, so I'm going to double-click that. And literally, in a matter of seconds, Boom, it has taken all of the information from this spreadsheet and it has converted it into an app on the phone. Literally, this is how it would look right now. And I'm going to take a couple more moments to show you how you can customize that on your phone and then we're going to publish it last. So the first thing we want to do right now, it's it, the title of this is Form Responses 1 because that's down here the title of the spreadsheet that we're using so we can go ahead and change that so I literally just right in here I'm gonna put HP favorites and you can see it updates it right there you can also see you can you can change the style of how you want it to look in your app see how amazing this is I'm gonna go ahead and keep it the list form here and now I'm gonna go down here a little bit and I want to see how it says the name, but it also has, it has one of the answers here. So that's the description. I don't want it to have that. So if I don't want that, I could just tap there, go up to custom, and now it's gone. So now literally all it shows is the names of the characters. Now, I'm not going to go into it in this video, but you could also, for where it says image, if you click here, you could choose from a URL. And if your spreadsheet, mine doesn't, but if your spreadsheet contained a column, for example, right here that had the URL of an image, it would actually display uh, a picture next to their characters, which is really cool. Uh, now, moving down at the bottom, a couple more things we're going to want to do. You probably don't want people to be able to add items, so I'm going to uncheck that. You can see as soon as I did, there was a plus sign that disappeared. I don't want them to necessarily edit the items. I just want it to be view only. So, so far we're looking pretty good. And now if I click on these, it goes into all of their favorites, all of the information 
from the spreadsheet is displayed just by clicking on here. Pretty amazing, right? Now, one thing I want you to see though, but take a look, it's timestamp. I don't want necessarily the timestamp. So you can edit what you see here. So once you click on, again, once you click on a person's name, now over here on the left, if I click fields, it over on the side will display all the fields. Let's say, for example, I don't want the timestamp, so I'm just going to literally get rid of that. And you can see I've got the t-shirt size. So maybe I don't want the t-shirt size. So I'm literally going to X that out. And now you can see on all of the names, it doesn't show the timestamp, it doesn't show the t-shirt the t -shirt size. Also, um, if I click back on here again, I can add items. So for example, see how it says verbal praise? Uh, it doesn't really have that down here. If I click add items and I keep doing that, I wanna get to where it has the verbal praise. Oh, how do you like to be appreciated? So I'm gonna get rid of the timestamp again. I'm going to get rid of the name again, but I do want this how you want to be appreciated and I'm going to even drag it right underneath the birthday. And you can see it automatically updates it. So it's very, very customizable. Couple more things before you're done. Next thing you want to do is you want to go over to the settings here. And first thing you can, you can change the icon. So let's say since we're talking about uh, their favorites and gifts that I might want to give them, I could choose gift, choose that, and now uh, let's go ahead and click on that. So now the icon on my phone, it's going to be that little gift right there. And the title of it, like what would be underneath it on my phone would say HP favorites. So we're good there. Next thing is the appearance. I can change the color of this. Check it out. Like I can completely customize. You see on the left, it changes. So let's say I like that kind of color at the top, but I want it to be an orange or and you can even or a purple. And you can even customize it further by maybe I want it to be a darker purple light or a lighter purple. You can see I can do a whole bunch of different things like that. Completely your choice. The last thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on the privacy. And for this, for the purpose of what I'm doing here, I want this to be public, meaning <clears throat> there's no personally identify. I mean, there's no student data or anything like that that I have to worry about. So I want this to be public. Anyone that I share this with could see it. And I don't want there to be any sign in. So I'm going to click no sign in required. And now pretty much we're ready to go. All you have to do now is go up here and click publish. Oh, and by the way, anytime any new information is added to this spreadsheet. So if I were to add someone at the bottom, for example, I were to put um, Dumbledore's information down here. As soon as you add the information in a matter of moments, it will update in the app. So it's great. You don't have to redo this every time new information is added. So last step is you're going to click publish and publish right there and in just a couple of moments it's done you can see now i'm going to zoom in so you can see that it gives you a qr code and a link if you wanted to share this with somebody in your staff you could send this link to them or you could just send them this qr code and all you have to do with your phone scan that qr code and what it will do is it will open it up on your phone. Now, I just want to make clear, this is not an app that's going into the Apple App Store, the Samsung app, Google App Store, anything like that. What it really is, is it's simply a website that you're saving to your home screen, much in the same way that I have ESPN.com. I go there a lot, so I have saved that to my home screen kind of as a favorite. But that's it. That's how you can take a spreadsheet with information like this and just in a couple of minutes convert it into an app that looks like that on your phone. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching everyone.